Okay. Um, I've been saying lately that E equals MC squared is a pile of nonsense uh, because they've got energy on both sides of the equation. Um, this is because people think that energy can turn into matter, and but they believe energy can turn into matter based on E equals MC squared. What they don't know is that energy and matter are separate. So. I suddenly came up with this um, equation that I have and it's not even uh, an equation it's more of a relationship and that this is an addition or a subtraction equation there's no need to be multiplying or dividing anything um, I say that matter and energy are separate and that there are three kind of forces going on here we have matter we have energy and we have light. So we have M equals matter, E equals energy, which is in this case, let's say electricity, uh, L equals light, which is also electromagnetism because light is an electromagnetic waveform and uh, we can only see the visible colors. There's plenty of colors out there we just can't see unless we have a machine to do it. So I'm gonna explain and go through my equation. Um, and uh, explain to you what it means to matter um, in the universe. Okay, so we've got M equals matter, E equals energy, L equals light. Um, we're going to drop to the bottom, really, where it says uh, finally, because um, that's actually all of them added together. You can't really separate them without something happening. But matter plus electricity plus electromagnetism, which comes from electricity and matter, gives you life. You can do with that what you want. But that is true based on the rest of the equation. So we'll go back up to the top. So we have matter and energy equals. It doesn't really equal, it gives. This is what becomes, it's like a chemistry experiment. When you add two things together, something else happens. Or you take something away from two chemicals and something happens. So M plus E equals L. Matter plus electricity gives electromagnetism. That means when electricity runs through matter, we get electromagnetism. This is true for every single atom in the electric universe. It is an electromagnet. Somebody will sit there and tell you it's got to have metal in it. No. No, because I'm talking about God's power here and he has designed the universe so that matter, when electricity is put through it, develops an electromagnetic field and that is what happens to all matter. Every atom has an electromagnetic field once energy runs through it. Now remember I said matter and energy are separate. So matter plus electricity, which is energy, equals electromagnetism. It gives magnetism because it takes a perpendicular twist and uh, when it rolls through the matter to create electromagnetism. Okay, then we'll drop down to L minus M equals E. Electromagnetism minus matter equals electricity, which is invisible. So if you take away the matter, you no longer have electromagnetism either. All you are left with is energy, which does not have an electromagnetic spectrum because it's not running through matter. So you have invisible energy. Light minus energy equals matter. Electromagnetism minus electro, uh, electricity gives non-energized matter, which is invisible. Why? Because energy inflates matter. So this, en this matter is now non-energized, so it's invisible, it's deflated as both electromagnetism and electricity have gone. No electricity, no electromagnetism, no color, no spectrum, and the matter collapses and goes back to crushed matter. Down at the bottom here, M plus E equals L, matter plus electricity equals electromagnetism again. Then we'll go with the pluses here, M plus L equals E, matter plus electromagnetism equals visible electricity. So if you um, uh, use an electromagnet with matter and spin it around it, electricity comes out of the wire configuration of matter and electromagnetism. So imagine a wire with an electromagnet spinning around it or any magnet spinning around it, you will get electricity coming out the wire at the other end. And finally, you have E plus L equals M, which means if you put electricity and electromagnetism through matter, which they create themselves, once you put electricity into the matter, you get electromagnetism, you have energized visible matter.
And then, as I said before, it's a relationship that all three together equal life. You remove one, something terrible happens to the whole thing. Um, so this equation is correct. So by saying that energy and matter are separate, I should have to give a couple of examples here. Okay. Now I say that energy uh, is running through the sun, running through the planet. Energy is actually running through the planet, turning it. So um, I'm just going to go with uh, a black hole here, um, or any planet, um, and just say that matter plus the energy running through it equals our electromagnetic field. Uh, this goes for every single atom um, in the universe. It is matter. Energy goes through it. You get electromagnetism. Uh, a black hole is matter plus electricity equals electromagnetism which is light so the Sun is given off uh, a light signal um, but a black hole is black so what's going on there well there's too much matter against too little electricity so you get no light you get electromagnetism but it's so small the relationship changes once you change the numbers too much matter not enough electricity not a very large electromagnetic field and this goes along with me saying that there's been a universal voltage drop we've had two power cuts power drops whatever you want to call it um, in however long the universe has been here and all suns and stars uh, have been collapsing and so whatever size a black hole used to be it no longer is and it's now basically got carbon on the outside because it's a burning hydrocarbon and if fuel isn't burnt properly all you get is carbon so that's my explanation for a black hole is the energy is too low and now the matter is too high so you, you get electromagnetism but you're not getting any light so perhaps it's actually L minus E equals M electromagnetism minus electricity equals non-energized matter so a black hole has electromagnetism we have lowered the electricity here I've got a minus but we've lowered it and what we get is non-energized matter which would be a black hole it has crushed itself down because it is not being pushed out because energy moves matter energy and matter are separate and that's about it that's the uh, equation explained and uh, I've given several examples of what's actually happening so I've just explained um, how a Sun works and how a black hole works and how an atom works using um, this equation um, Einstein equation doesn't work out for black holes because it says that uh, his black hole equations show that it's it's a, a, a bend in space which is ridiculous it's a void there's no bends in space. Space doesn't exist. It's an absence of everything. Electromagnetism, matter and electricity on the other hand try and fill space. So by my theory given to me by God in visions in 2014 May for three weeks non-stop straight day and night um, I was shown that energy and matter are separate. That is the theory here and I have an equation on screen that actually predicts what something should do depending on what you do with the levels of each piece of the equation involved so by my equation energy and matter are separate E equals mc squared says that energy is equal to matter moving at light speed which means the matter is being moved to get energy energy added to get energy. A nuclear weapon works the same way. They fire electricity into the radioactive material to make it expand. Energy plus matter gives you a massive electromagnetic bubble which destroys everything as the energy shoots outwards moving the matter. So not only have I shown how matter moves, I've also shown that Einstein's equation is nonsense compared to my theory of how the universe works. Um, so in the end you have to think to yourself well he's got an equation which is all separate. Einstein's got an equation which seems to be separate but his equation explained a black hole while Einstein's didn't really do anything except say that a nuclear bomb which they fire energy into was E equals mc squared when really you just blew for a, a, one ton of nuclear fuel over 400 square miles. Whereas my energy moved the matter okay that's as easy as I can make it thanks very much my name's Lee and I'm a Christian